amazing crochet family. I am your one and your only lady of crochet, Lady Simone, and we are back with another video. I hope that all of my beautiful crochet family is having an amazing day. I hope you all are just enjoying where you're at in life and understand it that where you're at is exactly where you're supposed to be at this moment in time. Yes! So I wanted to send that out before the video. Now, this is a little different video. And I thought it was important to create this video, especially as a creator and just in general, just someone who has a love for crafting and a love for life. I wanted to create this video to talk about what happens when, and I'm, I'm gonna look down a couple of times because I have some notes here because I wanna make sure I stay on topic. But what happens when you get creator burnout? So for me, creator burnout is something to where I, what I do, I love doing it, but then it's like you do it so much, it's repetition, and then it's not as exciting as when you began it. You know what I'm saying? When you started that journey. And I found myself in that space this week. So I was like, you know what? It is very important to kind of talk about the things that a lot of people don't talk about, but we kind of experience some of the same things. Because last week I made a lot of love plushies. I was super excited. I was just, you know, crocheting away. And then this week, I can honestly say I did not have a desire or a drive to pick up my crochet hook as much. Now, I've had this happen a lot, so that's why I thought this was important for this video because it does not get me down. It's one of those things to where for me, I'm like, you know what, that's just the type of creator that I am. That's just what I do, how I operate, and I'm okay with that, you know? <laughs> I have always been the type to operate against status quo, and I'm okay, you know, I'm not one of those people like if you don't do it this way or the way that someone say you should do it, you feel down on yourself or you feel bad. I don't. I think that I am like that unique bunch in that flower pot, you know. <laughs> Everybody else is purple and I'm multicolored and they're like, yo, what is up with her? And I'm okay with being that way. <laughs> so I wanted to share that with you guys because I feel like, a lot of the times, especially if you do YouTube or, you know, you're posting on social media, sometimes we feel like we we are obligated to actually do certain things or to do it a certain way. There are always, and I tell people um, just in life, you know, we have foundations that are laid. And a lot of times what some people try to do is go back to that foundation and dig it up and keep trying to pour a little more of themselves in it where I feel like we have to let that foundation be and then we build off of that foundation. And what I mean by that is, yes, there's some people who may say, I have the formula for YouTube, Insta, any social media, this is what you're supposed to do when yada yada who, or even just let's say in life in general, right? So you have a lot of people who will say, I have the formula and you're sitting there like, oh my goodness, I got to follow it to a T. This is what I have to do. But one thing that I realized with this journey and just with the journey of life is that, listen, that is the foundation and we can watch other people's foundation, but we have to keep in mind that that was intended and meant for them. That's how they succeeded. And it's it's fine. It's okay. It may work for you. It may not work for you. But when it does not work for you, don't get, you know, all upset about it. Because guess what? That was intended for their journey. You may was just supposed to see that, which triggers something in you that you can add to your foundation. Or you can take a little bit from theirs, you know, put it in yours and then it's like oh, okay but i'm gonna do this right here on this day instead of this i it's not intended for us to follow anything from a t because at the end of the day we are all so different and unique so i wanted to get that out the way <laughs> and i wanted to talk about this weekend crochet for myself like i said i did not pick up my hook as much but i did like the, the craziest thing happened it's like I was looking at this little mushroom guy and I'm like, I want to make that. Now, this has been like a couple of weeks ago. It just keep coming to my mind, coming to my mind. And there were some other things that I wanted to crochet or I said, I wouldn't say I wanted to crochet. 
there were some things that I had in my mind that I'm just like, maybe I should do this. But every time I went to go do that, do it, it was like I was a little sidetracked, so I didn't get to it. But this particular mushroom guy, y'all, I was like, I gotta get this done. I gotta show you. This was the only thing I crocheted this week, y'all. Look at this guy. The only thing I crocheted this week, and it has the shoe like this. And then you could put it down. You can move the little cap thing any kind of way. And I added a little smile to mine. But this right here made me so happy. And even though it's like the only thing I crocheted this week, y'all, this to me is like, it's like I crocheted a whole bunch of things. Like, I'm not even mad at it because I think it turned out so lovely. It's absolutely beautiful. And that little smile and just the way that this right here does, I think it's, you know, it just adds so much character and i found the pattern on etsy so what i did was what i would do i'm sorry is link it all to the um in the description so if you want to make this little guy hey i'm sorry i can't remember right now what was the um etsy shop that i brought him from but her pattern was so easy to read it was i mean and this was such a quick make it was like boom boom pass so i was like i'm definitely going to make some more little mushroom guys but i'm going to do different colors you know and everyone in the house absolutely adored them they i think they got more tickled that i was so excited because i'm like hey watch this and i'm popping them up and they're like oh that's so cool bro. <laughs> so i made this little mushroom guy i'm gonna hold them up a little bit while i talk because i want to get this out as well since i'm on the crochet burnout you know topic i thought it was also important to try to 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 tell you all what I do when I do get in the space of having a little burnout. Um, and some people call it losing your crojo. You know, sometimes, to be honest, it can last a week, it can last two weeks, it can last, you know, months. Some people lose their crojo. But for me, when I do get a little burnout, one, some things that I do is I rearrange my yarn. Because a lot of the times, if you're a person like me that have um, a lot of yarn, you forget what you have. And even just by rearranging them, it gives you a little bit of inspiration on like, oh, I can make this. Oh, I forgot I had this yarn, so I can do this. And that right there can help, um, you know, kind of get you out of that 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 little feeling of like, I don't want to pick up my hook. So speaking of hooks as well, another thing that I do is, hey, look at these beautiful hooks that I have. And I have, I'm going to show you my cup that I have on my desk here. These are some hooks that I have here um, on my desk. And I have them, another little container of hooks that I have on my desk as well. But I like to just go through them, see what sizes I have. Hey, maybe I could use this for, another, for one project. And I also like to look on Pinterest or TikTok, any other social media, just to get a lot of good ideas to see like, yo, they are making this. Oh, I never thought to make this, you know? And one thing too, what I found with Pinterest and stuff that were pretty cool is to look and see what people are making during the different seasons. So we're in summertime. So it's like, you know, fun to see what is really hot this summer in the crochet world. And that right there, can inspire you or just give you that little oomph you need to kind of like pick up that hook and make something. So I like to do that. Um, and to get out of a funk too, I love quick projects, but I'm a quick project type of person. So I rather do a quick project like this right here was, it took me no time. I love quick projects versus the longer ones because the longer ones can further take you into like one of those losing your crow show type, crow Joe type feelings. So I'm like, Mm, you know let me get something really quick and there's so many quick projects out there you know what type of crocheter you are or creator that you are because it doesn't have to necessarily just be for crochet but you know how fast you move when doing your craft and you pick projects accordingly so that hey once you get something complete that puts a smile on your face you can go on to you know picking that hook up a little more often and doing that thing a little more often so Another thing that I like to do is look through old pattern books and I have printed off patterns as well. So I'll go through there and because sometimes, hey, let's put it out there, y'all. We forget that we have these pattern books. <laughs> no. For me, sometimes I forget that I have these pattern books and I have like this little drawer thing that's had wheels on them and like two drawers are designated for just 
printable patterns, y'all. Printable patterns. And sometimes I forget what I actually had printed off. And I'm just like, I'm going to set this little guy down. He's really cute, but I'm going to set him down. I forget what I actually had. And then I go and say, oh my goodness, I forgot I actually had this pattern for this. I was so excited when I printed it. Maybe I should actually do the pattern. So it gives you kind of like that little feel of getting back into the excitement of why you printed the pattern and then picking up the hook again. So to end this, so one thing that I wanted to say at the end, I'm looking at my notes I'm making sure, oh, two things, two things, I'm sorry. I always like to watch other content creators too, and it doesn't necessarily have to do with what your, what your craft is, because one thing I would say, I absolutely adore crochet, but a lot of the things that I watch on YouTube does not have anything to do with crochet. <laughs> Some things has to do with crochet, but I get inspired from other things that has nothing to do, for example, I'm a big book fan. Um, always love to read. Always. I said that before. I have a couple of books that I wrote. So I I just really love the feel of books. I love, you know, the thrill of searching for, you know, a good book and reading it and being super excited about it. And I watch a lot of what they call booktube or even book talk on TikTok. And you you will be so surprised of what you will find or what would inspire you to actually do something with your craft, even though it has nothing to do with what you're doing. It's like something was click and you're like, oh my goodness. Or even like for me, I'm not a big um, audiobook fan. I would say that because I, I mean, I just, like I say, I, I'm old school. <laughs> I'm a little old school. So I get the thrill out of actually reading, but there are some podcasts that I will put on and I'm listening to stuff and it gets me in a certain space as I'm listening, my hands are moving and I'm crocheting. I love doing that as well. So the last thing that I wanted to say on this, on this subject, which I think is so important, like is very important. I feel ultimately just do what makes you happy. Like the formula that you are following is the formula that's intended just for you. It may not look the same as someone else. It may not look the same as a content creator that you always watch. And you're like, oh my goodness, I want to be in this space. I want to be this person. And I want to just right here. Understand that your journey is so uniquely, is so unique to you that you are doing it the exact way that you're supposed to do it. It is not one of those things that is just going to snap your finger and you're just like, woo, I'm here. What fun is that anyway? I have this little saying that I tell my family. I'm like, listen, I plan on being here for a good little while. <laughs> I plan on living for a good little while. I feel like I'm here for a purpose. I have my purpose. I am here. I am excited about life. I'm going to stay excited about life. I'm not going to allow anything that's happening to make me say, oh, this is terrible or yada, yada. Who know? I wake up every day with gratitude in my heart, being thankful for just being able to have another day to do what I love and to know that I'm here. I have a purpose and I'm able to actually take a little step, even if some days it's a little step, maybe it's a big step. But I'm able to do something that's going to encourage, inspire, or make someone else excited for that day. Hey, I'm like, God, thank you for helping me understand what my purpose is. Because now it's like, hey, I'm not trying to go quickly. You know, we're going to enjoy this. This is It's meant to be enjoyed. So enjoy what it is that you're doing in life. Understand that you are exactly where you're supposed to be. You will hear me say that a lot of times. But sometimes we let um, the things that we got going on kind of cloud that for us. But no, you're exactly where you're supposed to be. If you get to pick up your hook today, if you don't, if you get to, you know, do what, whatever, whatever your talent is, you know, <laughs> whatever it is, just understand that, hey, you're doing it exactly the way that it is intended for you to actually do it. So with that being said, y'all, this is the only thing that I came through with this week, y'all. But you can't tell me that I ain't made like a hundred things, okay? <laughs> 
I feel like this little guy, the smile alone makes it so worth it. Like, listen, y'all, I hope y'all are having a beautiful, I mean beautiful, amazing day. I hope you have a beautiful, amazing week. And I want you to remember that I am your one and your only Lady of Crochet, Lady Simone, and I will see you next time. Thank you.